So last night I was just casually scrolling through Instagram when I came across a pretty interesting advertisement. This was an ad by a company called Expert Classes and it offered a pretty shocking opportunity, quote, learn from Shigeru Miyamoto. Um, it said, that's exactly what it said, underneath a low quality screenshot of Miyamoto conducting an orchestra with a Wii remote back in like E3 2006. Um, and not only that, underneath that image, there was this caption, quote, get tips, techniques, and inspiration on video game design from one of the world's greatest, Shigeru Miyamoto. Discover Shigeru's world in his first ever online class. Now, for maybe like two and a half seconds, I actually considered the possibility that this was real. I mean, I was thinking maybe, I don't know, that someone had somehow convinced Miyamoto to teach for their weird masterclass knockoff. And, and I, mean, I don't know, Nintendo does weird left field stuff all the time, right? Like, I was thinking of like the 3DS guidebook at the Louvre Museum or the Mario Kart 8 Mercedes-Benz DLC. It's kind of hard to predict what Nintendo does sometimes is all I'm saying. So it seemed sort of in the realm of possibility that this was a thing that could be true. And out of just sheer curiosity, I clicked through the ad to see where this could possibly be going. And it redirected me to a web page on expert-classes.com asking me if I would like to take an online video game class from Shigeru Miyamoto. They were still <laughs> insisting on it. Um, and it was alongside that same photo of him from 13 years ago. Um, and then underneath that, there was a field to sign up with my email address uh, right underneath the line saying to, quote, enter your name in <laughs> the field below. Not your email, your name. Um, and then there was a submit button next to it that said vote. <laughs> for some reason. So it just kept getting like weirder the longer I stared at it. Um, and that wasn't all. If you look underneath that, uh, at the very bottom of the window, uh, in a very, very tiny gray font hidden on a gray background, there is a following disclaimer. Quote, why, question mark, we don't have a class from Shigeru Miyamoto yet, but voting for the people you would like to take a class from helps us understand which instructors should teach a class. Now, I laughed pretty hard when I first read this because like the idea that you're just gonna roll up on Shigeru Miyamoto and casually ask him to teach an online class for you because you got like a bunch of signatures on a petition is a really hilarious idea. So good luck with that, guys, was, was my initial reaction. And also, you, you gotta love like the clumsily capitalized I in Miyamoto on this part of the webpage. It was just really an impressive production all around. Um, it was kind of funny, but at the same time, the whole thing felt incredibly dishonest. Like looking back at that original Instagram ad, nothing about it mentioned that you would be voting to maybe have Miyamoto teach a class for you. It straight up said, learn from Shigeru Miyamoto, promising that we would quote, discover Shigeru's world in his first ever online class. And so I was kind of shocked that an ad like that would even be allowed on Instagram. At this point, out of idle curiosity and boredom, I decided that I wanted to know everything I could about this company, Expert Hyphen Classes, uh, and I wanted to know what actual teachers they did offer. Um, so I decided to check out their homepage, expert-classes.com, and nothing. Just, it's a completely blank page with no information on it whatsoever, except for a PNG of like an atom, and uh, a little bit of text at the bottom that said expert-classes.com version 0.5.3 in the footer. So. I started wondering, does this company even exist? Like, what is, what's going on here? And at this point, my curiosity was truly peaked. So I, I went back to Instagram in the hopes I could find that ad again. And after scrolling for a bit, I kind of realized the odds of seeing the same ad on Instagram twice in a row were pretty low. Um, but luckily, right when I was about to give up, I found an option buried deep in Instagram settings called ad activity that allows you to basically look back through every single ad Instagram has ever served you that you've interacted with. And luckily right there at the top of the list, there was that Shigeru Miyamoto ad again, now covered in comments from other skeptical fans of Miyamoto's, plus a few from a small but vocal group of people who were mad at Miyamoto for ruining the Paper Mario series or something. Anyways, I started poking around this ad and I discovered that while expert hyphen classes didn't actually have an Instagram page of their own, they did have a Facebook page that they were running all these ads through. So I eagerly began checking out that page and found this. The page was a ghost town, essentially completely empty, except for like half a dozen one-star reviews. All of them left yesterday from other people who had seen the ads I had seen. Interestingly though, it quickly became clear that not everyone on this page had seen the same Shigeru Miyamoto themed ad I had seen. One review in particular specifically mentioned makeup artist Kat Von D saying, quote, it gets your email address by luring you in by makeup classes by Kat Von D and once you go to enter your email address in the box, changes to vote, there was nothing about a makeup class by Kat Von D at all. 
Now this gave me an idea. I headed back to that same Miyamoto landing page that I had been brought to by the ad. But this time I went up to the expert hyphen classes URL and I swapped out the Shigeru hyphen Miyamoto part for cat hyphen Von hyphen D just to see if I would get anything. And the result, a landing page that was identical to the Miyamoto one, but this time it had a photo of Kat Von D and a splash screen asking if you'd like to take online makeup and tattoo art classes from her. So it was essentially the exact same scam, uh, but for fans of hers instead of fans of Miyamoto's. At this point, I knew there had to be more. It, it couldn't just be these two people. So I kept hunting. I sort of kept poking around the expert hyphen classes <laughs> Facebook page and quickly discovered that recent transparency efforts by Facebook actually allow you to view every single ad run by a particular Facebook page. And that's when I found this, a treasure trove of completely fake ads promising classes from people like Wolfgang Puck, Hans Zimmer, and RuPaul. At this point, it was pretty much completely clear that Expert-Classes as a company just simply did not exist at all. They had precisely zero of the celebrities in their portfolio that these deceptive Instagram ads were claiming they had. Uh, it started to paint a pretty clear picture that this was just a straight up scam and was nothing more than a phishing attempt that existed solely to harvest email addresses from unsuspecting Instagram users. But I'm not actually an expert on this stuff, so just to confirm my instincts, I reached out to Mark Risher, who's a security and phishing expert over at Google, in order to get his take on it. I showed him all the same stuff I showed you, and his response was this. Sounds pretty fishy to me too. Their registry info is all locked down, but you can see that the site was only registered a few days ago, which also makes it pretty suspicious. Glad you caught it and weren't deceived into turning over your info. So to me, hearing this from an expert on phishing felt like a pretty conclusive answer that this was a scam. And before going to bed, as a last ditch effort, I fired off a quick message to the Facebook page, just hoping to get some sort of response from them. And tragically, I never heard back from them. So that was all last night. And then this morning I got up and began working on this video, the one you're watching right now. And out of curiosity, while working on the video, I decided to go back to that Miyamoto page to try and pull up some screenshots, and it was gone. And actually, all of the pages were gone. They had taken all of the individual websites uh, for these scam celebrity classes down. My next step was to go back to that Facebook page from the night before and go look at the list of ads that were active. They were gone. There, there weren't any ads being run by this page anymore. Just as quickly as the ads had appeared, all of expert-classes' ads had suddenly vanished and the whole operation had started and stopped in less than 24 hours. In hindsight, I kind of think this was always their plan. Like, th throw together a Facebook page uh, and throw together some ads, thinly disguise this as a legitimate business, like the thinnest possible, crappiest disguise, and then utilize Instagram's insane reach to launch a full-blown, wide-reaching phishing attempt, harvesting the email addresses of thousands of innocent Instagram users. And then, part two of the plan, the most important part, I guess, uh, pack it all up and shut everything down the very next day before anyone, including Instagram, has time to catch on. It's pretty scummy, honestly. Um, but at the end of the day, I think my biggest question about this is, how did Instagram miss this? Like, it, it took me three and a half seconds to figure out that this was fake. So how rigorous could Instagram's advertising testing process possibly be if this very clear scam slipped through the cracks? Like, obviously there's always gonna be scammers on the internet, but it feels weird to me to see one in an Instagram ad and not in like the spam folder in my email inbox. You know what I mean? Like, it feels to me like the burden to protect Instagram users from phishing attempts pretty clearly falls in Instagram's lap. Especially when you consider the fact that there are literally over one billion Instagram users at this point. So the fact that they're taking money for ads means that virtually anyone has access to these very large vulnerable slices of the community and can just sort of flip these levers on and off to like show something to a billion people and then pull it all back and flee with like a huge <laughs> bucket full of deceptively harvested email addresses. Anyways, I, I guess just my the moral of this story is just be careful <laughs> when you see ads on Instagram. Don't assume that just because it's on Instagram that it's a legitimate business or even anything different than a random email that would show up in your spam folder because it is not necessarily any better than that. But anyways, I just wanted to throw together a quick video about that because that Miyamoto ad really <laughs> hit me like a ton of bricks when I saw it last night and I wanted to share it with you guys. Yeah, I'm really curious about what other people think of what I found here. So if you have any comments, I promise to read all of them and respond to them and all that stuff. But yeah, I'm going to get back to working on my actual next video. This just sprung up out of nowhere and I like had to share it with you guys. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.